Hi everyone, this is Guy in Helmers uh, showing you Awakened Guardian, a survival adventure prototype that I have been working on uh, for a little over half a year now. Um, so this is just a get starting video, um, just to show you some of the mechanics and how to uh, play the game. Uh, the very first thing I wanted to do is just kind of look at the general UI. Um, so starting at the top left corner is your vitals. Like most games, you have your health and stuff like that, but uh, it's formatted a little differently. The very first item is the top brown circle. Um, that is your hunger. Um, as you can see here, um, our character is getting close to starving. Um, just below that is the white bar, the most essential part of the whole uh, vitality bar over there. Um, which is your life force. Uh, that's the last bar that has to go to zero before your character dies. Um, a lot of things contribute to it. Um, when you're starving to death, you start to lose your life. When you get hurt, you start to lose your life. Um, the next thing right beside it is the um, blood bar. Now that is the health bar that has to get uh, kind of depleted before you start losing life. It's your your flesh, your blood, uh, your body before your life force. Um, and that one comes back fairly uh, quickly if you have the hunger to regenerate, or rather the fullness. Um, and the last one is just the green bar over to the side, which is your stamina. It allows you to run and jump and attack and all of those things. If you've played Dark Souls, you have played uh, much of the same kind of idea, minus the survival parts. Um, the next thing is uh, down below in the bottom right uh, are those colored frames, and uh, those are essentially your quote-unquote essence. Uh, and what that is is that uh, the f various items and objects and resources in the game are comprised of those building blocks um, I can get into them into some detail later, but all you need to know is that they basically act as your mana, but also as your currency um, to act upon the game. Um, the bottom left I'll address later. Um, some of it is not being used, and uh, it's fairly simple. Uh, so I'm going to show you a little bit uh, how to start playing the game. Um, it's best played with a controller. Uh, most games, like most games, you can use the joystick to run and move and the other joystick to aim your camera and point around. Um, so it follows fairly standard uh, third-person game mechanics. Uh, some of the simple actions are triangle is jump, um, X is interact, which you can't see right now because I have nothing to interact with, um, square is to wield and unwield, which I don't have a weapon, so I can't do that. And circle is either jump or roll. And by jump, I mean dodge backwards, except that it doesn't seem to be working. Um, additionally, uh, if you click option or start, if you're an old school gamer like me, and uh, that opens your inventory. Um, currently, uh, the only inventory space you have is your four starting um, permanent inventory slots so that you can actually pick things up even though you're naked. Mr. Naked here. Uh, so let's get started. Um, here's your ca camp that you start in. Um, these are little tutorial podiums that kind of give you some text. Um, you must be hungry, it says, exactly. And I'm getting hungrier as I'm explaining things. Um, so in the camp, uh, there's just some things. Uh, for example, here's a torch. Um, it doesn't burn, but it has light. Um, it gets dark at night. We'll see that in a little bit. Um, another thing is, is that um, there are lockbox keys, or lockboxes rather, that require a lockbox key. And a lockbox key isn't um, a key item, so it's not something you get from a specific box, or boss or anything, but uh, it's a little rare. Um, so here's a key right here. And so now, ooh, the thing is green and you can uh, loot this box here. And so there you go, I picked up whatever that was. Uh, we could check what it is. Going to the pause. 
here's our torch and you can see on the top uh, right there where the description of the torch is is the little uh, bars or the little boxes with numbers and as you can see they're in the same formation as down on the bottom right um, and what it is is that that is the composition of the torch so it is uh, one bile, which is the purple, and one earth, which is the brown. Um, and then on the side is the doll, and you can see it's one herb and five spirit. Um, and it casts the spell love. The adoration from, your, from the villager restores your life by 30 over time. Um, we won't use those just yet. Um, here's a trunk. And this one is not locked like that one over there. Um, this one usually has some random assortment of supplies and often they are bandages. So I'll pick one of them up and uh, my inventory is full. So then, oops, uh -huh, fell through the world. Well, that's too bad, but uh, let us journey. Um, so one of the things that I wanted to do right off the get-go is find us a stick. Um, of course there are items and objects all throughout the world. Some are more rare and some are more uh, common. Um, of course the ones that are common don't have too complex of uh, function. Uh, here's a, as you can see, very tiny poking out from the ground. A stick, it's worth two earth obviously because Earth is just building supplies, rock, stone, metal, wood, um, dirt, soil, you know, all that stuff. Um, and, you know, I'm going to, hmm, well, uh, for using the inventory, you can pick up items with square and place them down. Um, and you can click uh, X to rotate that. Uh, you can click circle to cancel. Um, you can also click R1, the attack button to rotate it, R1 and L1, um, and place it. So now my two inventory slots are full, and when I stand up, what's here will drop to the ground and probably fall through the floor. Oh no, they didn't, joy. So here's uh, beginning with the little instructions on the bottom left. So as you can see, there's the three squares um, that are white. And what they are are your spell, your food, which is non-functioning, and your um, weapon. So if you hold the bar, it, uh, it charges. I'll do that again. Charges, and you get this selection wheel. Um, so as your inventory fills with weapons, you can quick swap them um, to the stick, to the torch, back to the stick, back to the torch. Um, so that gives you the quick way of uh, selecting your weapons. Um, so here you got your stick. Um, you can also attack with it. Um, and uh, I'm going to switch to the torch because as you can see it's starting to get dark. Um, now additionally I don't really want the stick as a weapon because it kind of sucks so I'm going to harvest it and as you can see down on the bottom uh, right now I have two earth material. So I can pick up these guys again now and uh, now you can see that if I go on my spell uh, wheel I can choose my doll I can choose the bandage, and that allows me to um, utilize those spells. Um, so the way that you fight is by using the R1 to attack, and the way that you, you cast spells is by using L. Ooh. <laughs> um, didn't want to use the doll. I guess I could. Um, what the doll does is it increases your uh, white bar, which as you can see has been depleting because I'm starving. Um, so I'll just use it and I cast it and now it's gone. Um, and I'll put the bandage on just so that I have a bandage on my person. So uh, let's journey on. Um, my camp was back there, as you can very, very narrowly see. Oh, look, way up there is a, is a light. Let's just go over there. 
I hope I find some sticks on the way. That would be nice. So I'm, I'm just gonna, you know, kind of meander around and play a little bit. Hopefully you can watch my, oh, can you even see my controller? A little bit. Um, and, uh, oh. Oh, hey, look, a trunk, open trunk. Nice. Okay, so uh, here is a red mushroom, and as you can see, it's two herb. Um, now, the guardian is a omnivore, so he can eat anything that is herb or animal, which is the red right beside it. Um, so right now I could harvest it right off the ground, I could pick it up, or if I click left or right on the D-pad, I can cycle between harvest and eat. So this tells me that if I eat, I gain four, uh, I guess, hunger. Uh, and I'm gonna do that. So now you can see a tiny sliver on my health bar. Um, and I'm in the market definitely to eat some more food. Um, oh, there's some cliffs. I guess I'm gonna just go up this way. Jump my way up these rocks. Oh look, another trunk. Supply trunk. Oh, and I have more bandages. I think I'm going to just harvest these. Don't really need them just yet. Now I've got eight herb and four building or uh, earth. I'm going to harvest the stick. Now I've got six earth. And I'm going to make my way up to this, uh, this gate, whatever it is. Um, so you can hold circle to sprint. Um, and make your way, but uh, sprinting makes you hungry. Um, and I don't want to, I don't want to starve too fast because I am trying to show you guys how to play the game. Uh, so to play the game, don't starve to death is the is rule number one. And I'm going to go over here and oh, it's locked from the other side. All right, well, I I want to go in there. Um, oh look, there's a podium over here. Okay. I need to adjust this ground so that I can get up there. Kanakate Forest used to be a bastion of protection for the people of this place. Its natural structure served as a bulwark on some of the darkest days in their history. Now it lies vacant, home to an incredible darkness. Its gates have been locked for an eternia, should you make your way in. Be wary, I lost my, my life here. Overconfidence speaks death. Uh-oh. This is obviously supposed to be an NPC of some sort, um, but uh, I would rather focus on making the game fun um, first, and then then do that. Well, that was a a dead end, so let's let's just journey around and look for look for more sticks. The the greatest pleasure of all. Um, I'm gonna give myself a little bit of a kickstart. Oh, I need a lockbox key for this. I hope I can find some keys around. Uh, oh, look at this. Okay, so this is five herb, five animal, five bile. I have no bile and no animal. Oh, more fives. Well, I've got a lot of things I need but I'm not finding them. Well, and uh, I shouldn't drop down here because I would fall to my death, but I don't have fall damage yet, so I'm gonna just make my way. Expedite this little journey. Uh, another fun little secret of exploiting the game to its limits is if you uh, keep holding run and your stamina goes all the way away, um, you're not regenerating your stamina, so then you don't get hungry very fast. You get hungry for the amount, the hundred points of stamina that you use up. Oh. But uh, you don't continue. Oh look, uh, many objects in this world require you to exchange essence you've gathered to access their benefits, like this brazier, and it will help you guide you back to camp. Um, it turns out my camp's right over there. Um, so, it requires five um, earth 
and uh, I'm gonna use it just for fun. And it's like, ta-da, now you have a light. Um, so during the darkest night, if I can't find my base, I could always find that guy. So I'm gonna journey off a little bit, just over here. I assume that a road doesn't have uh, sticks and nice things to harvest, so I'm gonna just uh, explore around. Off the beaten path. There's another stick. Or, uh, sorry, another stick, another chest. Oh, and a supply trunk. Oh, my item fell through the floor. So uh, it's a good thing to note is um, if you want to be careful, it's important to just uh, add a chest so that you pick it up if uh, so that you don't accidentally have the things fall through. Um, the reasoning is, is that um, when an item spawns, it spawns a little bit above the chest and it falls. But if it falls too fast and the item is too small, um, it will be above the ground and then it will be below the ground between the two updates of the game. Nice. Oh, so then here's some food. And what's this? Minus three? Oh, it's got a green top. I'm gonna... Oops. I'm going to... Um, if you sit down while an item is near you, it'll be on the ground here. And you can see it's a green mushroom. And it's one herb and one bile um, and the whole thing is is that if you try to eat things that you can't eat it will actually damage your hunger but I can harvest it for one herb and one bile so now you can see I've got 901100 of my resources and uh, I definitely want some of those uh, those bile mushrooms because I need some bile and I need to find some animals. Um, trick question, there are no animals currently. Um, I do have some uh, low level uh, meat items but I haven't implemented them into the game yet. Um, so we're actually relying on those supply trunks to drop a uh, rations um, which uh, are kind of few and far between and in fact it's the one that fell through the floor earlier. So. Um, Here's hoping I get another one in this little tutorial because uh, I really need that so that I can arm myself. Uh, cool thing is, is that all these chests and stuff, uh, they spawn around randomly. So there's no guarantee that these would be here. Um, so it's a surprise for me as much as it's a surprise for you. Oh, and that was a bandage and it fell through the ground. That's okay. More fives. Yeah, I definitely need some meat items. So, the idea is, I mean, we're kind of just searching around, looking for stuff. Um, there's all sorts of places. Oh, I'm starting to find some mushrooms. I'm going to harvest this guy. Hopefully I can find some more. Oh, nice. So there's a stick here. Ooh. Ooh. Here's a red mushroom. I'm going to eat that boy. And, uh, essentially, you just kind of journey around. Um, uh, if you follow this guide, the direction that I ran is where the mushrooms spawn because I'm having an issue with my tool and it's offsetting where the mushrooms are only in this direction. The other direction has no mushrooms, sadly. Um, but it's a great fallback because uh, the mushrooms are very localized and you can uh, just make your journey here when you're hungry. Look, my health, my, my hunger is starting to come back. And when you have food in your belly, you can replenish your um, various needs. Eat this guy, I'm gonna harvest this guy. Ooh, look at this. Ooh, what's that mushroom over there? I'm gonna eat these guys first. Oh, eat 10. So this is a, it's a steak mushroom. Don't be misled by the icon. Steak mushroom, a delicious thick mushroom, edible, and it gives you hunger. So you can consume it here or harvest it, but I want to consume it. Gives me a nice full belly. Definitely a nice one to find. And oh, look at this. Ha ha. Ha ha. Not today. Not starving today. 
Now I'm gonna make my way home. Look, I'm on different ground. There's this cool place over here. Looks like a clasped hand, but I don't want to go over there. That's gonna make, waste our time. I see that gate. I, I don't feel confident about that gate. Do you? There's this cool bridge and oh, what's this? Bunch of bars. What's in there? Oh, it's locked from the other side. Hmm. Well, I'm gonna zoom around. I've got, I've got a full belly. I can run. Ha ha. cloudy day and day is starting to break because the clouds are starting to be illuminated by the sun gotta love that uh, view of the dark trees and the bright sky um, let's, uh, let's journey onward uh, here's a place that I just recently added um, Oh, nice. Ha ha. I'm okay with that. I'm gonna harvest this guy. Look, I'm getting some bile. I need five. Oh. Well, this is a real big precipice here. Oh, cool. In the morning light, the decaying ruins sinking into a bog that you can't see right now because it's just becoming day. I'm going to keep on going on back into this place that I just added. Of course, it's overcast, so you can't see the bright, beautiful blue sky. But we're going to make our way into the... Ooh, I didn't even notice these. Into uh, Dagger Point Rocks. Um, now, Dagger Point Rocks has a bunch of randomly, oh, look at them, a bunch of different camps spawn here. I could be in the thick of it already, but I'm not, because it didn't spawn. Look at all these guys. They were bandits. Ah! Ah! <laughs> I don't have anything! No! Ah! Ouch! <laughs> Ouch! Ah, now I'm bleeding. I'm putting my thing away and I'm using my bandage. I don't want to bleed. Okay, the blood's gone. I used my bandage. And ah, ah, no. <laughs> don't kill me, bandits. Uh, as you can see, look, my blood is, is, ah, ah, <laughs> is uh, returning quite fast. Um, and uh, that's kind of the, the essence of the two. Um, ah, <laughs> no. <laughs> Get away from me! Uh, the essence of the two um, uh, health bars is that um, in order to facilitate some more uh, rapid fire, um, you know, quick combat intense fights um, like you would want in a, like, oops, an adventure action game, um, you uh, have that health bar, that blood bar. But uh, in order to have the kind of the ongoing survival and the pressure um, of, you know, keeping yourself safe and alive and, and healthy, uh, you have that life bar that has that, you know, much longer um, replenishment, right? Um, of course, if I had that doll right now, I could use it and replenish my life a bit. Um, but don't worry, uh, it comes over time. Um, just from your hunger, and uh, that's why you want to have your f your fuel going. Um, so there's those bandits over there. That guy's stuck on the wall. Um, but there's also here, which is a cool place. This was the very first place I put together with some enemies. I even made some fun little lore. And it's uh, a strange god, Pyrrhos, one who craves destruction in a most vicious way. Many once gathered at Wolf's Jaw to worship him and access his blessing. Um, 
little secret it's the you can get bombs from him by offering um a, a beast part and here we have some guys in red clothes they're not bandits they're something else ah but i don't want them i don't want them around at all ah i don't have any weapons or gear i've been uh starved of of meat to fill my belly and my essence um so uh, <laughs> Uh, I'm going to continue on real quick, and uh, how do we do Okay, just for uh, tutorials purposes, I'm going to quickly step in, or rather out, go over to my character, and say that I did get some of these guys, some of those rations and some food. Of course, I'm going to be patching the game as soon as I can to get some of those um, things going, but I'll give myself like, I'll give myself just 20 um, of those guys and resume back in. So as you can see, I've got uh, 20 of those goods, the goodies, um, and I'm going to come over here and uh, jump down into this pit, grab my torch, and I'm going to Pick that up so it doesn't fall through the floor. And I got some scouts pants. So I'm gonna equip those. Oh yes, inventory. So uh, now I've got some pants and now I move a little faster because the scouts pants that, the, that those bandits wear make them real speedy. Um, so as you can see, I have some inventory because of my pants, some five, five inventory. And the reason why the inventory is isolated to things like your pants is because when you take damage on your legs, your pants can break. And subsequently, all of the goods in your pants will just burst out and spill all over the floor. Um, so you want to be careful about, uh, about the durability of your gear. And so the way you can see that is um, that red bar over here beside my little flickering inventory selections is uh, the durability of your pants. Um, so it's full right now, so that's all good. Look at this little cave full of goodies. Open this trunk. Oh, I'm gonna harvest that. I'm gonna eat that. I'm gonna eat that. And here's another trunk by good fortune. And I'm gonna eat that. And I'm gonna eat that. Ooh. Oh, nice. Look at this. I'm gonna pick that guy up before it falls. What did I get? Scavenger cloak. Subtle light chest gear lined with pockets. Ooh, pockets. Vulnerable, hidden, and massive inventory, as a scavenger should be. Ooh, nice. Gives me some resistances and stuff. Uh, let's equip that. Oh, look at that. Ooh, ooh, that's so nice. Ooh, 12 slots. Well, now I'm equipped. Okay, well, let's make our way. I'm gonna go up into these, uh, these hills over here. Oh, nice! Hey, look, I'm I'm moving up in the world because I had I hacked myself a bunch of goodies. The rich get richer. I'm gonna open the supply trunk. Oh, that was a bandage. Well, good. I don't have to worry about my inventory anymore because I'm a I'm a mule now. I'm gonna eat this mushroom. Ooh, eat that mushroom. My belly's filling, and my goods are lining up. I wonder where we could find ourselves a weapons chest. I think I saw one a little earlier, um, but I'm going to look for these. We'll see, and now I could choose to just keep this steak mushroom. I am not full in hunger, but that's a nice one to have around in case I'm starving, uh, because it's such a such a compact uh, size for the amount that it heals me. That's another bandage. I guess that's okay. I'll equip one on my bar. Now I've got it on my pants. Um, I don't need that stick just yet. Bringing this tutorial to a close, thanks for bearing with me. I wanted to kind of show you just how I keep surviving and living and kind of the strategies. Yes, look at that chest. That's why I didn't need the stick. 
getting unlucky with the with the rations. I need to get some 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 meat in here. Mmm. Flesh and blood. Look at that. Five, five, and fifteen. And I do have enough for it. So let's see what I get. Oh, look at that. Oh, I'm gonna pick that up. Sword. And look at how ugly that is in positioning. So I'm gonna pick it up and rotate it. And now it's all nice and compact over there. And now I've got a whole inventory nice and open. Great blade type. Uh, Two-hander, a massive blade, great for de defeating equally large foes. And it has two animal, which is leather, of course. Haha, -ha, that's so smart. And uh, 15 earth, which is the giant amount of steel involved. And let's get that equipped. Look at that boy on my back. Time to go kill some bandits. Look at this. Ha ha. Ha ha. Running into battle. I thirst for combat. Let's try this out. Ah, ah, ah. Yeah. Let's slay some guys. I want to kill those red pants guys. To battle. As you notice when I run for a good while, then my guy puts his sword away because it'd be unreasonable to run for so long without uh, without that. Um, I'm gonna, actually I'm getting hungry, so I'm gonna go over to my steak mushroom and I'm gonna eat that. Just get a little top up. Um, may not have been obvious, but my, uh, my life bar has come back just a little bit. I could also uh, rest at my campfire once I get that fixed. It was working earlier, but I had to uh, do some fixes. Oh, I see that red. Okay. Oh, he's falling a little bit. All right, let's 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 have a real battle. I know I can exploit you by hitting you from behind, but I'm gonna go in front. Oh, all right, here we go. Uh-oh, uh-oh. Ah, haha, -ha, he's bleeding roll out of the way. No, I'm bleeding. I'm just gonna slash. Ah! Oh, I'm bleeding real bad. I killed him. I'm gonna kill this guy too. I'm gonna heal my bleeding though. There we go. And as you may notice, uh, you can see in the bottom left, the sword little red bar is a little bit lower than than it was before. And if I come over here, you can see more obviously there's that little dark red in the bar over in the details. And that's because my weapon, like my clothing, can break over time. I'm gonna kill this guy because he's... Oh no, I'm falling. Oh no. Haha, -ha, he's pushing me into the world and I can't move. Well, I guess that's the end of my... Ch oh! I almost had it. Yes, I got out. Ha ha ha. Hacks. I'm killing you. You almost ruined my tutorial. He's trying to run home. That's why he's not fighting me. Oh, now we will battle. Die. I got a leg up. Ha ha. Also, my two-hander is so strong. I'm going to go kill some... Wait. I'm going to go up here. Here, I can... Light this brazier. It's getting dark again. That one was eight because it's a nice big one. But let's go fight this guy now. Look at him. Oh, he's protecting a box. Die! Oh no! He's strong like me. Ah! Oh no! Oh, he killed me so bad! And he died too! I'm glad he died. And that is uh, the lifetime of uh, my prototype. Um, now, of course, uh, I wanted to just get things done and over with. Um, but uh, ideally, you wouldn't get yourself killed like that. <laughs> Um, but yeah, so then the idea is that there's some other things. You could come up to the shrine and uh, make an offering and get a bomb. Uh, start crawling through dungeons, which are uh, 
I didn't quite show you yet. Um, and of course, there's a lot more in development. I'm updating the game every day or two um, with whatever features I can get in. And uh, hopefully, slowly but surely, the survival, the exploration, uh, of course, the balancing and everything will start to grow and, and come together. So thanks for watching. Thanks for checking out what there is. And uh, I'd love to have you guys try out the game, see what works, see what doesn't. Um, and uh, here's to uh, a lot of more cool gameplay and sweet mechanics and exploration and stuff. Thanks for watching.